Okay, finding multiples of 10% of a number. So for instance, finding something like 20% of a number or 40% or 70% of a number. Now if we remember that percentage means parts out of 100. So we saw we can write it like this. And we saw that 10% is the same as 10 hundredths, which is the same as 1 tenth. So it therefore follows that, for instance, 20% will be 20 hundredths or 2 tenths. And I know when I want to find 2 tenths of something, uh, or a fraction of a number, I divide by the denominator, so I divide by 10, that gives me 1 tenth, and then times by the numerator to find 2 tenths. So let's say we want to find 20% of 40. First step then, I need to find 1 tenth, so I'm going to divide by the denominator, so divide by 10, which gives me 4. So that is 10%, but I don't want 10%, I want 20%, so I need to times my answer by 2 to give me 2 tenths. 4 times 2 is 8, so 20% of 40 is 8. What if we wanted to find 70% um, of 40? Well, 70%, remember, is the same as 7 tenths. So again, I'm going to start by dividing by the denominator, we divide by 10, which gives me 4. Now this is my 10%, but I don't want 10%, I want 70%. 10 to 70, I need to times by 7. 4 times 7 is 28. What if I wanted to find, um, let's say, 60% of 230? Well, again, remember 60% is the same as 6 tenths, so I can divide by 10 to give me 10%, which is 23, and then, so that's 10%. Now I need to times by 6 to give me 60%. Well, 23 times 6, I might need a quick jotting. 6 times 3 is 18, 6 times 2 is 12, add the 1, gives me 13, so I've got 138. So I'd like you to have a go at these questions then. Can you first of all find 20% of 80? And then I'd like you to find 30% of 80. And then we're going to finish off by finding 70% of 240. Pause the video, unpause when you're ready to check your solutions. Okay, here we go. So 20% is the same as 2 tenths. So I'm dividing by 10, divide by the denominator, which is 8, and then times it by the numerator, which is 16. Or if you think about it, this is 10%. 10% times 2 is 20%. Again, 30%, 3 tenths, divide by the denominator. Gives me 8 again, which is 10%. So I need to times by 3. 10 times 3 is 30. So 8 times 3, 24 is 30% of 80. 70% of 240, 240, again, divide by the denominator, it's 24, times by the numerator to get me to 70%. 24 times 7, I might just need a quick jotting. 7 times 4 is 28, 7 times 2 is 14, add the 2, so I get 168. Now, a bit like yesterday when we looked at um, doing the inverse, sometimes you get questions like this, what percentage of 40 is 24. Well, what do we know then? We know what we started with. What we don't know is what percentage it is that we're finding. And we know that our final answer is 24. We also know that this first step here, I'm going to be dividing by 10 because we know that this is a multiple of 10, so we're finding some number of tenths, some number of tenths. So our first step was we divided by 10. Well, what's 40 divided by 10? It's 4. Then here I'm timesing by the numerator. So 4 times what is 24? Well, 4 times 6 is 24. So it must be 6 tenths we're looking at, which is the same as 60%. So have a go at this one, I'll help you a little bit. So we know we're starting with 80. We know we end up with 32. We know that this is a multiple of 10, so it's tenths. I don't know what the numerator is, but therefore I know that my first step is going to be dividing by 10. So see if you can find this missing number, which will lead you to this missing number. 
Pause the video and pause when you're ready. So 80 divided by 10 is eight. So that's 10% of 80. So what is 32? Well, eight times what is 32? Eight times four is 32. 10 times four is 40%. So we found four tenths or 40% of 80, which is 32.